All right, you want to know what my real resolution is? I've been thinking about this. I really would like to be a better father and a, and a better husband. Not possible. You already are. You are kind and loving. Hot. And very, very hot. <laughs> and generous and forgiving. No, I'm saying this was hot. <laughs> Just. Jake, you have every reason to be upset. And that is why my New Year's resolution is to never, ever give you any reason to doubt that you are the man that I love. The only man that I could ever love. <clears throat> uh, if you guys um, want some privacy, Trevor and I can take the patty cake upstairs. <laughs> well, you know, we could take the patty cake upstairs. <laughs> Just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, please, don't apologize. I know what love is like. Distant memory, though it is. Oh, what about Rob? He seemed to be crushing on you pretty uh, hard. Yeah, well, I think the party blew that. You know, David's death speech, all that drama. Uh. I really don't blame Rob for being freaked out. I mean, how many women... Yeah, freaking out, right? <laughs> How many women live with their ex-husband and then drag their date to a party hosted by another ex-husband and attended by yet another ex-husband? I mean, come on, that's a lot of baggage. Well, no, don't think of it as baggage. You, you know, just think of it as you're a colorful, a colorful woman. Yeah, well, Rob dropped me off at the door and he said he'd call me and then I never heard from him again. Ooh. Right? You're a man. Translation? Translation, I just, that's just classic, really. Ass. No, no, misunderstanding. Look, you know, we think different than you guys, okay? We're just, we're, we, we're simple. We're really simple creatures. Okay. Well, enlighten me then. Mm, are you sure you can handle it? Yeah, I can handle it. Really? All right. If a guy likes you, first thing, uh, well, there's two things, really. He, uh, number one, will either call. All right, you got that? He'll either call you. Right. Or he'll give you flowers. I'm sorry I haven't called. The ex, the family. I had to fly to Charlotte to take care of my kids. Huh. Sounds like you're not the only one with baggage. I was hoping we could check the baggage for the night. Bring in the new year. She'd yes, love that we, very we much. Will watch and, uh, the we kids. absolutely. You know, you guys, you have a good time. You know, do everything that we would do. And uh, don't worry, it's here. Your, your baggage fits overhead. All right. And I don't want to see you till next year. Have fun. All the way till next year. <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Me? I just want people to be as happy as we are. Liza, David is a master manipulator. You should know that better than anybody. Now, Amanda, Amanda has a huge heart. She hates to see anybody in pain. He knows that. As a matter of fact, he's counting on it. Look, I know he is. But look, until we have some proof to the contrary. Uh, until I, we, we have some proof to the benefit of the doubt. Don't, I heard you the first time, okay? <sighs> the benefit of the doubt. I, I used to. I used to be that, I used to be just like that kind of person until he went after Dixie, okay? Twice. And Crystal. God, God gave us instincts for a reason, yeah. you know? We're supposed to listen to them. No, no, wait. What, look, what, what happened with Aiden, okay? My friend, my ex-partner, okay? I thought he was doing his job. He was just taking care of Kendall. I go out to Ohio and something was wrong. I knew it. I smelled it the minute I walked in there, okay? I didn't do anything about it. Why? Because I was giving him the benefit of the doubt and look what happened, okay? He turned out to be a kidnapper. Oh. This thing with David, I'm telling you, it's got the same smell all over it. Smell it? It's, it's, it's a little, little like pork, look, that? Okay, look, I'm, look, I'm not gonna let that stop. one go. He gave us a reason, okay? Can't we just accept he it? He gave us a and, reason. Oh, come on, what Here's possible what he evil scheme could he come up with Why commuting to Massachusetts? I don't know. The only thing I am sure of is that he always has a scheme. The last one cost Willis his life. Forgive me if I don't want anybody else to die. She's getting more color in her cheeks. Heart rate stable. 
BP's good. She doesn't appear to be under any stress. That's because she has no idea she's been in a coma for almost a year. She has no recollection of the accident or what led up to it. She still thinks it's the day of her wedding. That's why I had to put it back under, to keep her from asking questions. You can't sedate her forever. You're right. I can only keep her in this happy place for a little while. She's getting stronger, it's getting harder. She's fighting the sedative. Maybe you should just tell her the truth. She seems strong enough to handle it. I just can't take the chance. I mean, what if she goes into shock? You're gonna have to tell her at some point. Maybe you should just get it over with. And how do I tell her that her whole life has changed? And you can stand next to Mommy while she renews her vows. You wanna do that? I know, Mommy. I've done it before. I know. And you'll be just as perfect this time. Is everyone ready? Yeah. We're here to share the renewal vows between two people who love no. each other deeply. Stop, everybody. You can't do this. 